Welcome Capricorn to your reading on Scorpio Moon, intuition bringing messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest and if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels, nice and good is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to you all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look. Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is the energy of the person that is connected to Capricorns in love? What do we need to know about the person that is connected to the sign of Capricorn? Spirit, spirit, what does Capricorn need to know about their love interest? What can you reveal to me? What is the energy of the person connected to Capis and love? What is the energy that needs to come through? all right so we have calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations i'll bring you two together and also we have deception someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship it actually came up in reverse so what this is telling me is that your person is no longer deceiving themselves or you that your person is calling you in and finally we have for yourself okay it's time to take back control of your life so this is what i'm feeling Capricorn, your person is trying to free themselves from self-limiting beliefs. This is more of a mental entrapment is what I'm getting. Now, physically, they could be stuck in a situation, but I really feel like this is more mental. And um, they are no longer deceiving themselves about the soul connection that they have with you. I have a feeling that um, they've been a lot in their head lately. They've been doing a lot of thinking. Uh, I really feel like as they're thinking, they're actually feeling you close by. Okay, so there is a complete visualization situation that's going on with your person. I really feel very strongly that your person has been thinking very heavily about you. So let's see what else. Spirit, please reveal to me what is the energy of the person connected to Capricorns in love. Please give me clarity and insight in regards to a person that is connected to Capricorns in love. What do I need to know about the person connected to Capricorn? Anything else? So, you know, I see her retreat and I came up in reverse. Time out alone in nature will help you um, help you recharge. So, you know, I have a feeling that your person needs to go on a retreat or maybe they have retreated from this connection from you and they want to come back. Now, I see her friendship. This friendship is leading to more. So this is what I'm getting. Okay, because I see her support that came up neutral. Uh, lean on your inner circle during this time. So they're not really being supported through their social um, surroundings, right? Friendships, networks, whatever the case is. I really feel your person's very disconnected and they're totally in their head um, about their thoughts with you. 
now i have a feeling that they're trying to break free from being so closed off to open up towards this friendship because they no longer want to deceive themselves okay they're not even asking for others for help in regards to this connection between the two of you because overall i really feel like they want to get out of solitude this person is really calling you in and i really feel like it's more mental um but this mental visualization is actually i feel uh on its way to manifest in a 3d so let's go ahead and see what else spirit what can you tell me about this person where is the current overall energy of the person that is connected to Capricorns at this time? How do they currently think? How do they feel? What is it that they want? And what is the outcome? You know, for today, you know, I'll, I'll check in on your person's side and i'll check you out and i'll see what the connective energy is with each other so let's do that so you know overall i see that your person they really feel like they could really work on themselves okay so this is about self-worth are they worthy are they good enough um you know maybe their financial situation isn't doing as as good as it used to be right um i feel like there's a lot of change that's going on for some your person needs to free themselves from a karmic partner and the karmic they have expectations and it could be a part of the reason why that your person is stuck in a karmic relationship okay that's for some let's see yeah like now i have a feeling that they're trying to free themselves okay they're trying to free themselves from the karmic situation also what i'm feeling is that they're they're trying to walk away from not being able to offer you anything because of this attachment that they have with the karmic okay also look we have here the nine of cups your person has been thinking a lot about you now for some okay maybe your person drinks but what i'm getting here is that all of their cups are full except for one there's one cup that's missing and i really feel that that is you cap now right now they may come off as being cold detached you know maybe they're portraying that they're not interested in you um, there is a level of arrogance that I'm actually sensing coming from your person, especially if they're a fire sign and they really feel that, okay? In the past, maybe they uh, breadcrumbed you. Maybe uh, they didn't offer you balance. They, they want to get out of this energy, okay? I really feel like they want to fix this and um, get out of feeling selfish. So your person has come to realize that there is a level of maturity that i'm sensing from your individual they're actually becoming more mature uh taking accountability for being a certain way portraying like they're they're not interested in approaching you but really they are they definitely want to get out of the separation they've been thinking a lot about you thinking about you know how they put you in a third party situation or because of a third party situation you guys could never really work things out with one another that's what i'm getting and i definitely see that they're making decisions they they really want to come back okay they want to reconcile with you they don't know if things are going to resurrect per se okay and you know they're feeling a little impatient here for some maybe you're dealing with a sad energy you know whatever the case is I really feel like they're not stable they're not balanced and um they're grieving okay so again this this kind of tells me that your person has a lot in their head about this uh connection to you and um 
also I see that they want to communicate okay so I have a feeling that your person is thinking about uh, contacting you uh, maybe I was sending you a text message of some sort uh, this is just a very uh, light conversation okay that they have been thinking that you know they wanted to let go of anything that was not really working for them okay the other thing I'm, I'm also getting is that they may tiptoe around the uh, notion that they let you go okay because this is your card for others okay they feel like they had to let you go because they were not in a good place maybe um, they feel like they needed to detach and when they were doing it they they really felt empty okay for some they they did it because of financial reasons they kind of put themselves out there and as they did that to themselves they actually hurt themselves and you know not only did they hurt you but they hurt them and um, now they want to come in and there's a proper apology that I'm sensing coming from your love interest they want to come back and they want to reconcile they want to apologize they want to be a little bit more open with their emotions you know I really feel like your person wants to offer friendship if you guys um, have been in separation now if you guys have been talking they want to uh, have more than a friendship which leads to a commitment but I really feel like this freedom is a freedom of their thoughts I really do feel that now it could be physical but I really feel like it's mental yeah they they want to apologize how they cut you off or maybe you cut them off so um, your person is wanting to come back and connect with you they want to make peace I really feel like the timing is near it could be within six weeks you know maybe six days for some and um, they could tell you that yeah it was because of kids maybe they feel like they were not good enough um, they feel like you know they couldn't really offer you much and it really stressed them out but I really feel like they're finally getting out of it okay I have a feeling like they're doing better and for some maybe they're actually getting out of a relationship and so now they're freeing themselves to be open towards this friendship with you that's what I'm seeing and this makes them happy they're starting to see that this is this is the way okay or this is the path you know maybe for some they know that they need to free themselves and and feel liberated right because for such a long time they felt suppressed or repressed or felt trapped and um, they didn't know what to do but now they're wanting uh, to come in with a level of truth okay I really feel like you've been in separation with this person because if they were in a retreat and they're getting out of it your person is calling you in I feel like universe is conspiring a way for both of you guys to get together but I really feel like your person is gonna come through and offer some kind of a connection some kind of uh, conversation and they're realizing that they were the ones that were holding themselves back you know from not being able to offer much you know for some of you're dealing with an earth sign because I see it here back to back to back maybe specifically a Taurus your person was holding back from uh, taking this up to the next level maybe they're thinking about uh, traditions and values morals and they they really feel like they couldn't offer this to you the the really strong feeling that I'm getting with your person is that maybe financially they just they couldn't offer this to you maybe the timing wasn't right maybe uh, they lost a lot of money along the way and in their current uh, circumstance you know they just uh, I don't want to say hit rock bottom but they lost a lot you know so if they built a legacy with let's say a karmic or you know they invested a lot of time into another situation whilst they were getting out of that uh, condition they went for broke you know they lost a lot that's what I keep getting 
and now they're just looking towards the future and they've been watching you i have a feeling that your person has been uh checking you out and um, there's a lot of insecurities that pop up when they look at you and they know it's time to either apologize make some kind of a small gesture or you know this person definitely wants to come back okay that's what i'm seeing guys yeah um i really feel like they're getting over some third party situation and your person is ready they're ready to open up emotionally to express themselves so uh that's what i'm seeing so far that's really beautiful so let's see You know, so overall, your person is thinking, okay, it's time for them to leave a past situation, okay? Um, as a matter of fact, I feel that, you know, they're thinking that's the best thing that they need to do. They've been thinking about this for a while, and I really feel like for the past eight months. Now, for you, Cap, okay, I see that, you know, you're just holding yourself back. You're not approaching this person. You're not communicating to them. Now, I have a feeling that if your person walked away from the connection with you, you feel like you need to turn your back away from this person and um, you shouldn't have to be the one to conversate or contact this individual, okay, because your person has made a decision to leave you to begin with, right? So it's really up to your individual to really free themselves from their mental entrapment about possibly what they did to you in the past, right? so that they can come correct now there's they're in search of their two of cups okay and i saw that they let go of a situation now the both of you are actually thinking okay about what has happened between the two of you in regards to a third party okay it could be people it could be uh, a situation could be a job it could be kids it could be anything but there is something that uh split you guys apart and i really feel that both of you guys are really thinking about each other late at night both of you guys are communicating with each other telepathically that's why your person is calling you in that's what i'm seeing so um how do you guys feel now i see her your their person is very passionate towards you and look at this you still love them so you're showing up as the king but you still have your back turned away from this person now both you guys feel that you guys want to celebrate reconcile you know have a little get together uh you know maybe enjoy each other's company okay you still have their cup I have a feeling like Capricorn, you're still reminiscing on this person, your person know that it's time to take action. So I really feel that it's all on your individual. Okay, if they're the ones to leave, they're the ones to really take action to come back because that's karma, right? That's what I'm saying. If your person took the initiative to cut off the relationship with you, they need to take the initiative to come back okay because i really feel like you have set your boundaries and you're not going to chase after this person okay if your person really wants you 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 know your person's going to come back and come in in the correct way okay again i really feel like your person is very mental very uh in their head about their approach when it comes to you now what do you guys want Now, I really feel that for you, Capricorn, you want victory. You feel very convicted. You're going to stand uh, firm on your beliefs, okay, about how you handled the situation with your person. Now, your individual knows that they were not, they were not on the up and up over here, okay? They, um, they're a little bit, uh, what? Deceitful okay now this deception came up reverse so it's very uh you know coincidental right the magician actually came up reverse so is this reverse magician um is this person trying to get out of their trickery um is this deception uh actually a good thing right now i see that you know they they feel that it's time to move forward and be inspired to take that first step okay and i really feel like it's just how how much does your person want to connect with you 
okay because i definitely see that the friendship is here they're not being supported by anyone at this time i really feel like maybe your person is going through a situation with their friends maybe their family at this time that's what i'm getting so in the outcome uh there is communication wow and for you cap you feel like this this isn't fair so your person decides to communicate um about the reasons why they kind of cut you off now this could be because you guys were in a recent uh friendship contact communication for some okay now if you guys have been in long periods of separation you know i really feel that you know until someone gets a divorce you know obviously the um you know this whole situation of not really pursuing this connection is evident right so there's some truth here coming from your person you could be doing with an air sign okay about why things um kind of fizzled out and they could tell you that they're dealing with a legal situation it doesn't have to be a divorce it could be like i don't know some kind of court paperwork some kind of legal notice this could be financial it's like documents papers could be taxes whatever okay something is really um you know that your person is struggling they're very cold about it um and they're not really showing any kind of emotions so yeah for some maybe you're dealing with uh an earth sign over here your person is really taking responsibility for their actions and this comes to you as a shock that they have accepted th this ending okay so whatever i really feel that whoever that you're dealing with capricorn maybe your person ended it maybe it was you whatever but this this has already happened in the past there is an acceptance of something that didn't work out okay your person is owning up to whatever but a part of them when they're approaching you they're not going to tell you that you know they have feelings for you or i don't know it's like there that's where this deception is coming in you know that's why um i'm really getting mixed messages here like are they really being honest i really don't know they know that they need to free themselves from their mind a lot of the things that are going on in your person's mind is in their head now what's on the table here is this friendship this friendship is leading to more your person knows that this is more than just a friendship you mean more to them than just a friend right now they're not being supported by anyone but when they think of you they know that you got their back okay um you know they think about you a lot um, there's something about you and your connection with them and you're kind of shocked that your person has accepted this whatever this is now maybe the shocking news is that your person wants to come back and offer something solid like a commitment a, a lead up towards a, a marriage okay just that's for some um and there's a level of defensiveness okay now for you capricorn you feel like i don't know you feel jaded you're like well what about the third party you know what of that you know and even though that this cup is coming towards you and i feel like it's your person you don't know if you should accept it and um i really feel like you want to know if your person is being honest are they pulling your leg you know like it is what, what is this so i have a feeling that capricorn you know if this sounds like you or, or what's about to happen there's a level of defensiveness on both sides your person is defending themselves that they want union and for you capricorn you're like well i don't know and it's kind of ironic because we have two fours on both sides okay with a a seven in the middle and that's an 11 so i really feel like this is a twin flame connection here <laughs> just saying so let's see what else um how does this person feel right now how does your person feel
Beauty, your natural beauty takes my breath away. They really think that you're naturally beautiful. And also we have rage. All of the anger I hold back is burning me up from the inside. You know, there, there's a lot of anger, pent up emotions about your person. I really feel like they need to free themselves. Okay. That's what's significant in your person's um, energy uh, so far for today. You know, they're not being honest with themselves. All they need to do is just be open, open to express their truth and come in with their authenticity. Right. Also, you know with integrity um that's what i'm getting guys okay so let's see what are the love notes where when or will the two of us meet again your person questions this and they kind of understand that they need to get out of their mental entrapment they need to free themselves i'm sorry i took you for granted okay i really feel like you know in the past you possibly gave them their all and i know this capricorn because i'm a capricorn too you know i might be a scorpio moon but i'm a capricorn sun and when we put all of our eggs in one basket right <laughs> That means we're being serious, okay? We want a forever. We're, we're not here to, you know, spread our seeds, you know, towards everyone just to taste and see what is the best option. When a Capricorn makes a choice, they mean it. There's no room for error, you know? We, we go above and beyond to make sure that that person feels loved, uh, feels protected, and feels like they're, you know, you know, that they're being honored and cherished. And they took it for granted. They thought that they could have it elsewhere. I will never leave you again. I promise to be with you until the end of time. Wow, that's really beautiful. So when your person comes back, and when they do, okay, I have a feeling that um, they're, they're going to tell you that they want to work it out. They want union. They're possibly sorry for walking away from you because that's what I feel like what has happened, you know, and your person has a hard time of freeing themselves mentally. It could be physical, but I really feel like it's a mental entrapment. They, they really find that you're very beautiful, okay? Um, they're, they're possibly angry at themselves for letting it get to this point and you know they're not perfect so it's really up to you capricorn if you have a level of uh forgiveness if you have compassion um if you feel empathy um if if you really see that your person is coming in with transparency you know as long as your person is coming in with those qualities and you know I, I really feel that you know this could actually work but as long as you know um you're open okay um i really feel like that's the lesson here and that's what what makes uh the love go stronger right it's uh that forgiveness factor it's you know showing the compassion and if you have no compassion if you have no forgiveness then you hold anger and resentment in your heart or in your mind and that's a poison so i really feel like there's some karmic lesson that that needed to be learned at this time with this particular individual so let's see what is the guidance What is the guidance, please, Spirit? What does Capricorn need to know? Yeah, this is really beautiful and perfect. 
Surrender to inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments. Focus on the stillness within this and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. So don't resist uh, anything. Okay, just go with the flow. You know, try not to uh, like put up a block or a barrier. Just you know observe things like come and go try not to grasp or cling on to an emotion or a situation but be ready to receive and and see how it goes you know and that's going to give you inner peace not only with you but i really feel that this is also for your person so i really hope that this reading was helpful let me know thank you all for watching and if you'd like to book a personal reading with me you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com you can also follow me on ig as scorpiomoonintuition i hope y'all have a lovely day and i will see you next time Bye bye